As we prepare for the sun to set behind us tonight, we know that the stars shine brighter in the darkness. So thank you for being here for Stars Above, presented by Mayo Clinic Hospital as one of our sponsors. We're at Venue at the Grove in Phoenix, who has donated this space so that we could honor you as donor families, as well as our donor heroes in Arizona. We hope that even though we're still from a safe distance, that it is just as meaningful for you as it is for us. My name is Nico Santos. I am the Media Relations Specialist for Donor Network of Arizona, also known as DNA. We are the state's federally designated organ procurement organization. And we believe that organ, eye, and tissue donation really is a bright spot in what is otherwise a really difficult and dark moment for the family members and the loved ones of donors. We know that that bright spot offers hope to the people who are waiting for a second chance or a renewed life through transplantation. So we know that our stars above, as far as they may be, are shining brightly. You just have to look above you. And as you're watching with us, make sure to comment in the comment section of this YouTube premiere, the name of the person that you are remembering tonight so that we can together remember our Arizona heroes. Today and always, we vow to honor that light. Nos da tanto gusto que estén aquí con nosotros para honrar a nuestros héroes donantes arizonenses. Nosotros creemos que las estrellas más sobresalientes son las que más nos inspiran cuando las vemos tan lejos como puedan estar. Nos provoca semejante emoción cuando pensamos en la generosidad que ustedes y sus seres queridos mostraron en momentos sumamente difíciles. Pero por ello, hoy y siempre, vamos a recordar a ellos como héroes donantes que son, porque aunque ya no estén aquí con nosotros físicamente, dejaron una huella de luz y de amor, y nada más hay que mirar hacia arriba para ver. En este momento también les pedimos que pongan en los comentarios el nombre de la persona o las personas que están recordando esta noche para que su luz brille más aún. We know that our work centers around organ, eye, and tissue donation, but we really believe that donors and their families are really our North Star because when they can see the light, even in their darkest days, to turn around and extend a hand, the impact can be so profound. At this time, we invite you to meet the family of donor Sean Hunt, who says in his death, he left behind light and life, and he gave it in abundance. You know, for the way that he quietly impacted people, um, he was well missed immediately. You, you just never know when somebody is in that dark moment. And um, all it takes is a split second to be in that dark moment. And you do things that's not yourself. And uh, so, so that was, that was, that was painful. It was. Because he was always about helping people and, and he was just one of those, he was always busy helping everybody else, but sometimes he just wouldn't help himself. We chose not to let it end as something tragic because of that hope that it's going to bring life. And it did, and it brought some beautiful life to some wonderful people. And, and like I say, one day we may hear from all those recipients. I have no idea. Of course, almost right away, you just, you want to know how this has helped somebody. And, um, and we were told to write the letter, um, you know, to, to recipients unknown to us at that time, but, but to write this letter. And we did. And, um, and we poured not so much in terms of grief into it, but as in terms of yet hope that truly that in this death of our son that life would come and it would come abundantly and that was our focus it was tough because it went for a while and we never heard back from anybody and 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 that hurts i mean but i would tell people it's always that not yet but never losing the hope that this was worth it uh, this is worth helping other families 
to continue to have that loved one in their life. Um, and that means a great deal to us even today. John was like the hub of the wheel in many cases. Um, and so, but that wheel keeps turning. He's not present physically with us, but certainly in spirit he is. Thank you so much, Mr. Hunt, for sharing with us and letting us know a little bit more about Sean through your loving words and his story of generosity. I'm Laura Ramos, Manager for Donor Family and Advocate Services with Donor Network of Arizona. And I thank you all for coming today. Um, I have the privilege every day of speaking to and writing to donor families, and also the honor of learning very personal stories, stories of family tragedy, um, family loss and grief, but also stories of hope and healing and peace that families find when they realize that their loved one, although gone, was able to ultimately share the gift of life. As I was thinking about the celebration of life today, and also thinking about many of you out there who have had a very tragic loss and yet had the courage and the strength to think of others at a very difficult time, a particular family came to my mind and a particular donor. Uh, this donor, Analicia Rodriguez, passed in late 2019. Her family reached out to me in April, which as many of you know is Donate Life Month. And they had a lot of energy, a lot of commitment and determination to really make sure not only that Annalisa was remembered, but also that Annalisa's decision to save lives and really her life mission to help others was not forgotten. They had shared with me that Annalisa registered to be a donor when she got her driver's license. She was 16 years old at the time, but also they really emphasized that Annalisa was really uh, beyond her years. She had made the decision at the young age of about 10 that she wanted to be an organ donor and that she also wanted to save lives. She came to this decision after watching a television show that spoke about donation. And from that point on, she was determined to do whatever it took to help others. Uh, the following years, Annalisa uh, took it upon herself to learn a lot about the medical field. She became quite fascinated with, with medicine. And even in going in high school, she uh, completed a program called the Arizona Cavett uh, Medical Program. That program allowed her to graduate from high school with her medical assistant degree. As Annalisa's family shared with me, this allowed her to begin her career and path in the medical field. And it really actually reaffirmed her decision that she had made previously to be an organ donor. Unfortunately, early one Sunday morning in 2019, Annalisa's bright future was taken from her when she was involved in a tragic rollover accident. Two days later, after Annalisa had passed, she went on to give gift of life to six people. Her family honored her wish to be a donor and supported that decision throughout. Annalisa's story, although very tragic, is also very representative of the generosity of so many of our families who chose to support and give the gift of life at the most difficult time in their life. It has also reminded me of a, of a poem and some call it a legend that came to my mind that says, perhaps they're not stars, but rather openings in heaven where the love of our lost ones pours through and shines down upon us to let us know they are happy. I truly hope that while the sadness and tragedy of your loved one's death will never pass, that you will find those moments of peace and those moments of celebrating a life that was lived so well as in the case of Annalisa, a life that was filled with the desire to want to help others and to give the gift of life. We hope that tonight's event and celebration of life is one of those moments. All of the recipients who have benefited from the gifts of your loved ones and the community that we live in who is so thankful for your generosity, those gifts and your support will not be forgotten. Now we will hear from 
one of those recipients, those very grateful recipients who have benefited from the generosity of others and their story. And we thank you once again. Dear Kermit and Tracy, your son Sean blessed me with the miracle of life through the donation of his heart. Every breath I take, every beat of my heart is because of Sean and the two of you. I cannot thank you enough. I wish there were words to convey my gratitude for the gift of life the three of you have blessed me with. Unfortunately, there are no such words that can adequately express my thankfulness for the gift of life given to me at a time when you and your wife were just beginning to deal with the loss of your son. Please know I honor your son's heart and am determined to take good care of this most precious gift, including living a more meaningful and purpose-driven life. Your family will be in my thoughts and prayers until the day I die. God bless you, Kermit and Tracy. Sincerely, Stephen. Those words ring true for me today as they did five years ago. I'm still in awe that they were able to come to terms and, and make this decision at a time when their life was in, really in turmoil. To all you families that have gone through that and to those who may someday consider it, uh, there's no, there's no way to describe the gratitude, um, no way to define uh, that gift. I mean, it surpasses um, anything in life that you can receive from someone. When we hear such words that we at DNA are reminded of the value of our mission, so thank you for sharing your transplant journey with us. Public education and community outreach efforts like today's event are possible with support from the community like the sponsors you see on your screen now. We thank them for helping us fulfill our mission and tonight's event is presented by Mayo Clinic Hospital and their team has a message for us tonight. I'm Dr. David Chaska a transplant hepatology consultant here at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. As a team member of one of the largest transplant programs in the country, I welcome you to this year's Donor Celebration of Life event, facilitated by Donor Network of Arizona and sponsored by Mayo Clinic. This past year has been tough, to say the least, yet a historic pandemic brought with it so many stories of hope, compassion, and love. This is a powerful example of the selflessness that we as transplant providers see every day. The loss of a loved one is truly difficult to bear. In the midst of this tragic time, heroic organ donors give hope to others, a hope that rises above the darkness like a guiding star. Organ donors are unsung heroes with their ultimate gift made of their own accord or on their behalf by a grieving family who recognizes that organ donation can prevent another family from experiencing their pain of loss. A single organ donor can save or improve the lives of up to eight additional persons. Now is the time to reflect on these gifts, to listen to the stories of the people who literally gave them themselves so others could live, and to honor donors and their families. On behalf of the transplant community, there is no greater privilege than watching a recipient's life forever changed by the generosity of a donor and their family. So now, I invite you and join with you to recognize your loved one's impact. Thank you, Mayo Clinic Hospital and our partners for your supports. At this time, we'll be showcasing, with donor family permission, the names of 2020 Arizona donors. But we want you to know that these are more than just names. They really are sparks of light in what would otherwise be a very lonely sky. 
and they remind us that even though they may be far away, they're never too far away to still see their light shine. The names will be listed in alphabetical order by last name. Ahora vamos a dedicar este momento para rendir honor a nuestros héroes donantes arizonenses del año 2020 y sus nombres van a aparecer de acuerdo con su apellido en orden alfabético.
I am Tim Brown, President and CEO of Donor Network of Arizona, and it's a pleasure to be with you tonight. It was very heartwarming to see the names that were provided by the donor families of their loved ones and their heroes, not only to be seen by Arizonans, but potentially around the world through social media. Speaking of our donor heroes, it's very difficult when we lose someone close to us, like a parent, a child, or a dear friend. We think of them every day with mixed emotions. We're sad, we're lonely, but also with pride and love. So tonight, we dedicate a star in honor of your loved one, of our 2020 donors. So when you look up in the sky tonight, you'll be able to see the light that they left behind, knowing that other donor families are looking at the same star and their hearts are filled with love. We do this as a thank you for your generosity and joining us tonight. So thank you and good night. But remember, when the sky is at its darkest, our stars shine the brightest.